Good morning, friends. How are you, Amelia? Good. Are you? Are you feeling like you might have a little cold or something? Mm. No? No. No, I I chose my iPad and watch games on it. You want your iPad? To watch games to on watch it. To watch games on it? Yeah. We'll have to we'll have to charge your iPad because where where are we going in a few days? America. Are we going to? Where are we going? No, I whisper. You're supposed to say it out loud. Daddy has to go to London today. Um, I just charge my iPad. In. Is that, who's your friend beside you there? Who's your pony? Yay. What's your pony's name? My ponies. What's your pony's name though? Um, Pinky. Pinky Pie. Pinky Pie? Yeah. No, All right, let's get the iPad charged here, lads. Yeah. Okay. So this is Amelia's iPad. Cause we have to charge it. Let's see what we've got here. Uh oh. You have to charge it first. Oh, you have to charge it first? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll charge it up. Okay, you go have some breakfast. No. And then maybe after breakfast, it'll be charged. What's going on here? I'm reading my book with Wado. Are you reading your book? Yeah, with Wado. What book are you reading? Is that Zoe's book? Yeah. Cool, okay. How to survive a long-distance relationship when your boyfriend is a super hot rock god. Yeah. Oh, boy. Is your boyfriend a rock star? No, he's he's a strong range and a friend of F. Oh, okay. Do no, you listen to it? Yeah, you'll uh, read me the story. Baba, baba, a lot of baba. It's like this. Okay. When it's daddy's, daddy's screen, I'm too. Hi, Wardo. You have to get the stickers to, to go with it. Oh, is there stickers? Oh, Zoe, where's the stickers for the book? It's about to start. So we're heading into London. She like my new, uh, my new jacket. I knew I needed one for, um, Sor not Sorrento, for London or for, <laughs> for New York. So I picked this one up. It's so soft. It's like it's hard to tell. He was a buyer. I can't even remember. But it's so soft. It's really nice. Anyway, we're heading into London, lads, because. This is something where I was saying Anna and she was like, you know, you don't have to share this with everybody if you don't want it. And I was like, yeah, I know, but I feel like I want to I wanna share this little journey that I'm about to sort of go on. Because um, as a man, when you hit your 30s, um, you can sort of become insecure about different stuff. First I got to answer this call, hold on. Okay, so now she's going to sound mad, all right? It's kind of like... Oh, uh, I don't even know how to like even begin Wait, to... Is it the best time, really? I don't know. I don't know. I, start, I, 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 I started telling a story and then I just, I don't even know how to... I can say it in my head, but I don't even know how to even start the story off. Whoa. <laughs> Not a minute to spare, lads. <laughs> we just made it. <laughs> All right. Wow. That was crazy. How long was it delayed by? Like a minute or two? two it was delayed by two minutes. Then you ran up, I saw that your mom put the hand up. That's like, go. And I was like, no, just beep, open the doors. Probably gave me a dirty look. Doesn't matter. It's really hot. It was because you ran up those stairs. <laughs> okay, so where do we even start? Well, that might be a little too far back, okay? That's not what I'm, well, again, I, I feel like that's not the hairline we're going for. Uh, okay, seriously, who is actually in control of these pictures? Uh, no, my god, okay, that was first year in school, you gotta forgive me, I thought long hair was cool, alright, oh my, um, can we just, not so much sharing of the school photos, eee, a little bit better, getting closer to what we're actually, there, that's the fella there, there we go, that's when I lived in Germany, look at that hairline, I'm so jealous of him, oh look at him, Oh, I look, I look kind of like a girl a little bit, but uh, yeah, look at that hairline, it's so perfect. This is my 21st birthday, still had a really nice hairline. It was starting to recede slightly, as you can see on the edges there, but it was okay. I was living with it, I was happy. 
and then it just sort of um, snowballed a little bit from there. Um, I just threw these pictures in because that's just a picture of me and Anna just chilling because I love her and that's really cute too. <laughs> but my story is like most guys. I'm in my 30s and my hairline has receded and I'm quite conscious of it and I put up videos on YouTube every single day and I see myself every single day and I wasn't sure if it was something that I just had to accept and live with and just shave my head for the rest of my life. And then I, um, about a year ago, I met someone who was telling me about um, some footballers and some celebrities and stuff that had got this done in this place in London. And I thought, could I actually go get this done? And it turns out I could actually go get this done. So I'm going in today for a consultation to see about rebuilding my hairline. I'm very excited and I'm also very kind of half nervous, half insecure about it. So be nice, okay. On with the vlog. It's kind of, you know when you're thinking about doing something like, yeah, that's a good idea, and you fill in the forms, and you arrive here, and you're like, oh god, what have I done? Let's go home. <laughs> I did the invis line, you know? I know, I know, I know. Let's go. I know, I know. It's just scary initially. <laughs> Alright. Poetry, please. Poetry, please. <laughs> I know, I know, it keeps doing that. Okay, I'll see if I, hopefully I can vlog some of this. So I can show you guys the process. I'm just gonna draw in my head and show me what I'm looking. This is it. If you face toward me, I Sorry. don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the okay. thing. Yeah. Go around the other side, Anna. Okay. Yeah, come around the, this way. You can get a much better feature. This is basically how they do it. They just draw on the hair. <laughs> so if you come here, you can kind of get a much better visual. So. Oh yeah. That's relatively. The new hairline. Of course, on the day we will measure it because your loss is not the same on both sides. It's yeah. asymmetrical. One side is oh. sort of further back here than it is here. So we would have to not just repair that hairline, but also go into these areas. Yeah, because the tin is a little front bit exactly. here as well. Like. Exactly. Mm. The indent in here. So it's sort of, and that line will not be very straight. What we tend to do is go on the line, in front of the line, behind the line, because a natural hairline should be like this, not. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Just you have to be aware that your own hairs, they might still continue falling. We've done it, that's it. <laughs> so there's a possible date we just when we get back from New York to uh, book me in. What do you think? Pretty positive. Yeah, the, the guy's Yeah, the guy's really nice, like the, the, he was saying all the right words as to like the future stuff, you know what I mean, of what you can do. Because I was like, I want 20 <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Oh my goodness! <laughs> my heart! My heart too! <laughs> Did you see me vlogging? Did you know? I saw you vlogging in the background like... What? <laughs> what did you tell me? <laughs> I was like... Oh my <laughs> building! <laughs> and the lunch has been had. We are exiting the entrance. <laughs> oh, it's nice and warm. I forgot how warm it is. Should, should we walk? Are we close? Uh, doubt it. Doubt it. So we had a big long meeting about Anna's future exciting project. It's so gonna be amazing. <laughs> what? I'm so excited. When are you telling everybody? What's it happening? November. November? Like next week? When we're in New York? You gonna tell them? Yeah. yeah. Next Wednesday. Yeah, it's exciting. I'm excited. Our car is here. Next time we see Francesco we'll be in New York. Yay! New York. Exciting. Exciting stuff. Oh, oh dude, this. <laughs> See ya. Well, we're all going. Our train got delayed and somehow we end up in Lush. <laughs> but look at this stuff. Does not look like actual food. The paste and stuff like that. What? I never can hear. You can smell it like a mile off. The kids would love bath bombs. They would, Amelia Eduardo would eat them. <laughs> so yeah, so we gave us bath bombs and the kids just keep throwing them in the bath every night. They love them. But it's not, look at that. It's not like edible. It does not edible. <laughs> oh God. Rogat. <laughs> we get Eduardo a Rogat. Rogat. Emilia for this one and Rogat for Eduardo. Look at this frozen one. <laughs> we met some friends from Liverpool. What? What? You, you don't want to be. Alright, don't look at her. Erase her from your memory. Erase her from your memory. We just FaceTimed her mom. Hello. We did bring you something. Bianca! We do have a present. Are you having your snacks? 
Emilia. It's Emilia's one. And oh. this is Wardo's. They're not to be eaten. They're not for eating, they're for ah! Mina's already lost hers. Ready? Oh. Robot. 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 Ow. Ow. It's for bath time. Watch him like this. You like you this? Like Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. It's a, a pink bath bomb. flower bomb. Mm. It makes the bath pink. Huh? Do you like it? You can put it in your bath. Yeah. Did you miss mommy and daddy today? Yeah. Did you miss daddy more than mommy? Yeah, you wasn't at lunchtime. I wasn't here at lunchtime? Oh, well, sorry about that. I am making dinner and feeling like we're all gonna die. Because I'm making red meat and it turns out red meat is not so good for you anymore. Don't you guys follow the World Health Organization's tweets? <laughs> but anyway, I mean, we don't eat it that often, let's be honest. And this is good quality, grass-fed, organic mm -hmm. beef. So, you know, but... Even Benji would approve of this meat. I think he would. <laughs> this is quite like the dinner that he made us that time. I think it's gonna be better. <laughs> I don't think so. Because it comes off. from a jar. Off. But anyway, so uh, we're making black bean, in case you didn't already know, with noodles and veggies. I took the chili out because that's what you do when you have kids and they're whole wheat noodles. I think it's time we had a date night. <laughs> Me and Amelia are just chilling like villains here on the PlayStation, or oh, sorry, the iPad. What do we have to do? Uh, we're not going to the presents. What are those photocopying things? We have to prepare five prints. Uh, oh, she's dancing with the prince. <gasps> they're in love, look, they're in love. No. Get yeah. Princesses. One game. Oh, to get some. Yeah. To get some prints. Oh, did she? No. Eduardo can I, say Amelia. No. How oh, oh, to get some presents? Oh, does she? Stop it. Let's see. <gasps> did I do it? No. Did I break it? No. Oh, Dad. What have you done? Eduardo, who's that? Melia. Melia? <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Melia. Come here to me, mister. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I have the best ringer. Oh, it's my mom. It's my mom. I got I want to answer. Hello? I'm fine. So let's get into the bath first, and then we'll add the rogat. Rogat. Your one? No, no, no. Robot. We'll do your one for tomorrow night. Oh, right. We'll do Wardo's one first. No, I like Robot. 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 Can you say that? No. Robot. 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 Rogat. 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 <laughs> Are you gonna put it in the bath? No, not yet. Daddy has to empty the bath first. Daddy accidentally filled the bath. Rogat. Rogat. He's excited. Tomorrow, guys, we need to pack for New York. <laughs> oh, jeez. No. Oh, we'll have to bring costumes for Halloween in New York. We do. Exciting. All right, everybody, let's go. Oh, are you doing mommy's hair? Oh, very nice. Okay, Mr. Robot, say say bye, friends. Bye, man. Bye, friends. What? Just a minute. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, just a minute? You gonna say bye, friends? That sounds like the photocopier. Let's take. 
What what exactly is happening over there? You have to turn the TV on. Okay. <laughs> now so I say, know my. Can you say Emilia? Say Emilia. Have you caught him on camera? Yeah, I got him on camera. Got him on tape. Caught on tape. Where's Emilia? Go. Say Emilia. Go get Emilia. <laughs> I do my work. You doing your work? Yeah, push me in. Push you in? Yeah. How about I push a push pop? No, you push me in. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna push you in. Oh, you do your work. Now say bye, friends. Bye, friends. <laughs> Amelia's very busy. Now get editing the video. Come on. Come on. No, get... I did my work. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Get to it. <laughs> oh, nuts. This is like next level end slate stuff, lads. You guys are taking it to the limit. Take it to the limit. Check this out. Who is it? Lauren Squishness? <laughs> this is so amazing. Look, it's like a, what do you call those little circuit? All oh, the interactive puzzle end slate thingies. They're the best. You're the best. Don't stop it. No, you stop it. <laughs> anyway, pause it, enjoy it, and tweet me if you actually can find them all. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to like the video, favorite the video. I don't even know what I'm saying. Subscribe and comment and whatever else you can do with videos. Rewatch it. Try that out. Try that on for size. <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.